Colin Comer. I'm the author of The Complete Book of Shelby and Shelby Cobra 50 Years. I'm celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Shelby Cobra here with Haggerty at the Amelia Island Concourse 2012. Cobra Daytona Coupes were created because as good as the Cobra Roadster was in SCCA competition, to really dominate sports car racing, you need to go to Europe. They had to make something slipperier to get the speeds they needed to win in Europe and uh, in endurance racing. So the result was the six Cobra Daytona Coupes. Uh, the making of the Daytona Coupe was like every Shelby project. It had to be done yesterday and it had to be good. It was FIA competition rules where it had to be an evolution of type. So you had to start with the chassis of a competition Cobra Roadster and you could evolve it into a slippery body, a coupe design. Uh, Peter Brock sketched out this uh, Cobra Daytona Coupe design. Um, from what I'm told, they, they had a bare Cobra chassis sitting there and they took chalk and drew out the design of the body on, on uh, the concrete in the shop and started hammering panels and making it work. So everything that was in the competition Cobra Roadsters is in the Daytona Coupe. Uh, it's a transverse leaf spring front and rear, you know, just basically a glorified ox cart like the Cobra. Uh, small block, 289, you know, Borg Warner T10 transmission. Uh, the main difference is they picked up a lot of speed out of the slippery uh, coachwork and fuel efficiency, which is very important too for endurance races in Europe. Uh, so the power output on a good competition 289 back then was you know, a neighborhood of 350 horsepower. It's not, you know, by today's standards, that's uh, you know an upscale Kia. But uh, you know, back then, 345 horsepower that was reliable and consistent it was all it took. The Daytona Coupes were right out of the box a successful race car. They were so good, in fact, that they scared Enzo Ferrari enough to have him lobby the FIA to cancel the last race of the 64 season because he was worried they were going to they were going to beat this 250 GTO. Um, had that last race of 64 not been canceled, I think we would have had a pretty good uh, addition to the uh, Cobra Daytona Coupe race record. Shelby didn't want to pay to have him ship back from Europe, and uh, thankfully they worked that out because he was he was kind of planning to have him dumped at sea uh, rather than ship him home. The last one that sold sold in the range of 10 million dollars. Uh, there's three of them left in the United States. There's three of them elsewhere in the world, and there's none of them for sale. The uh, next best competition Cobra, if you can't get a Daytona Coupe, is obviously a 29 competition Roadster. When they come up for sale, they're two to three million dollars, um, and obviously their race record is incredible as well. It's what put uh, Shelby on the map was how how good the competition Cobras were. A much lesser known competition, Leaf Spring Cobra, were the Cobra Dragon Snakes. They were built specifically for drag racing. A group of Shelby employees thought it'd be great to build some Cobras to go drag racing. They convinced uh, Carol let them build a handful of factory competition drag cars, and they were known as the Dragon Snakes. In period, they were high 10 second, uh, high 11 second, quarter mile times. They raced in different classes de depending on uh, induction setup, multiple carburetors, single four barrel, dual four barrel, you know, Weber carburetors, and they, had, they set a lot of uh, uh, AHRA and NHRA records. Uh, class wins, that kind of thing. The Cobras were successful because of the chassis flex. They're very stiffly sprung, but the, but the chassis is actually quite flexible. So the car actually bends and twists and moves around. Um, and if you can perfect a four-wheel drift and uh, stay on the power and just steer with the throttle, they're, they're magnificent cars to drive, very controllable. Um, tons of power, so if you get into trouble, you don't lift, you don't hit the brakes, you floor it, and you steer. Um, they're, they're just a blast to drive.